Hello and welcome to Solution Code. In this video series, we will be making a mini project in Codeigniter. If you are not aware of Codeigniter, so first of all, I'll highly recommend that you do watch my playlist on Codeigniter tutorial for beginners. In that video series, I have taught each and everything very easily in a step by step manner so that it is easy to understand and implement. In this video series, we will be uh, going in little advanced in Codeigniter as we already know the basic uh, structure of Codeigniter. So we are going to implement uh, it on a mini project which we will be making. In this series, we will be making a mini project on block management system. So uh, you might have seen that each and every website nowadays has a block section where the admin or the backend users start posting some articles and it, it will appear in the front end. So that is going to be a dynamic block management system where we will be having two users in this project. So one is a users flow which would be a normal user coming to a website which we are going to make. So that user will see two views. One would be the multiple articles listed in a grid view format. And when the user clicks on any one of the articles, that article will open as a single article. So this is the flow for the users, uh, for the user flow. The second flow is for the admin. So in the admin flow, First of all, we will implement the login management system. We will see how the login system will work. The sessions are going to work properly. Accordingly, we will make some dashboard for the admin in order to add a blog or view blog previously added or the edit a blog if they want to edit any one of the blog we will have that facility also also we will give uh, admin a facility to delete a blog so whatever changes we do here a normal user coming to the website will see uh, the updated content on that particular site so basically this is our mini project and for this project we will be using Codeigniter IMVC framework so we will be using the latest version 3.1.11 so this is the latest uh, stable version so we will use this version to uh, develop our system the second thing is for the front end part of the back end panel as well as the uh, users flow we would be using the most powerful framework for developing the front end as bootstrap so we will be going with bootstrap <coughs> So the advantages of using bootstrap i've already mentioned and i have already uh, have uh, videos on bootstrap in my channel so you can i'll encourage you to please go on and check all this uh, videos on my channel so that you will have a great knowledge about the front end framework the reason why we use bootstrap basically is to make the responsive websites so <clears throat> So that's the reason we use bootstrap for this project. So we will not majorly focus on the UI part as uh, this project, um, this mini project will be more over um, focusing on the functionalities and the flow of the MVC framework rather than giving more uh, importance to the front end part. Just we will make the simple structure in the view parts and accordingly we will go ahead with the functionality of MVC and the flow how the data flows in MVC we will focus majorly on that aspects rather than focusing on the UI so from um, in bootstrap official website they have some uh, pre-built starter templates so we'll use any one of those for our project and accordingly we'll uh, making this mini project so uh, let's start with the development of this mini project so first of all let's click on download code igniter so 
it is getting downloaded so i'm starting it from scratch so that those who have missed watching my previous series will also understand few points but i'll highly recommend again that you should watch that series uh, that series just a second i'll just show it here in the playlist itself i have that series coding united tutorials for beginner step by step so here i have shown all the videos all the important videos basically that uh, how uh, the structure directory structures and everything is mentioned here so this is the prerequisite thing which everyone should know before making a mini project this is getting downloaded yeah it is downloaded i'm just cutting it i have my xam installed and running so in xam folder in hd docs i'll make a folder called mini blog okay and here i will extract my code igniter okay let me take all this main content outside and i will just remove these two things which i have downloaded and extracted so this is the basic structure directory structure uh, those who are not aware of this you can watch it here and understand that first okay and so this is uh, so this is the basic installation of code igniter let us check whether the code igniter is installed properly or not yeah so you can see the welcome controller welcome controller is already called here and the view is loaded properly so i can say that the code igniter is properly installed on this folder so we will end this video here so in the next video we will be making the database of the mini project and all the view files and then we will start about the coding aspects in the next video so thank you for watching guys please uh, stay tuned with the next video we will be making the database and we will start with the mini project hope you like the video and efforts involved in making this video series so i will highly recommend to subscribe our channel if you are a learner thank you